there. Have you ever wanted to be able to generate drive times or other analysis uh, for a particular date and time? Well, I'm going to show you a really cool tool um, that's completely free using the HERE API within QGIS. So what you need to do is make sure that you have QGIS installed on your computer. I'm using QGIS 3.1. So once you have QGIS open, uh, you want to go to plugins and manage and install plugin. And we'll search for HQGIS, which I already have it installed, but you can go ahead and then install it. Once you have uh, HQGIS installed, uh, we can then go up to web and then HQGIS access the HERE API. And my window got hidden at the back there. And so um, if you go over to this credentials tab, you can click get credentials and it's going to take you over to developer.here.com. Um, and so uh, this is a, you can get started for free and you can create an account and get a, um, uh, an API key from them. So here's my API key. Uh, if you, oops, uh, you, you may see something like a, a project name. If you just click on that, and then uh, you can then copy your API key. Just as a note, one thing that I learned is that you only have 60 minutes to, um, to co confirm your email address. And if you don't confirm your email address within 60 minutes, you then have to get a new API key. Uh, so if your analysis is working great within 60 minutes, but then you come back and it's not working later, uh, this could be why. And so you just copy that and then you uh, place it over here in the credentials. Now, what I want to do is I am really curious how drive times changed during the pandemic from um, within Chicago. So I am going to um, click this little um, find uh, sort of locate button. And uh, I'm really curious, I used to work at the Aon Center in downtown Chicago. So I'm just gonna, going to click this on the map and then that pull, pulls up the address. Now everything here is, with, is done within seconds. So that's just some, something to, um, to think about. And I'm going to say that I want this to be done in, in car. So um, I'm just testing right now, just doing something really quick. And so we can see that this is uh, a 60 second drive time. Um, just just came up here. Now, okay, let's say that I actually wanna do an hour. So that's 60 times 60, so that's 3,600 seconds. And I am actually uh, want to enable traffic. And I am actually really curious about doing this on um, like 2, 15, 2020, and that all of the times here are in UTC. So I actually need to go back over to, um, to my browser and I'm just going to convert um, 5.30 p.m. Central to UTC. And that is going to be 11.30 p.m. So let me just type that in. Okay. So we can see here, let me put a different base map on. Um, I'm using the quick map services uh, uh, plugin for this. And I just want to actually put on the Carto DB. I really like the Postrion Retina. Okay, so I'm gonna actually just rename this one to, at 15. So now what happens if I do 315 20? Okay, um, so we can see that um, uh, you can add uh, that there's actually you can go less far on 315. Um, so this is March 15. 
So that I believe was a Monday and Illinois went into stay at home um, later that week. So if we do 325, um, so anyway, there's just there's just a lot of different sort of possibilities, and you can you can begin to uh, to, to to play with the data and just um, begin to to see uh, how sort of some of these different um, drive times and how far you could go. So hopefully this is of help to you, and I wish you the best of luck.